everyone, and welcome back to my monthly horror roundup, where I list off every horror movie coming out in the month of May, quickly tell you what they're about, and where you can watch them. First, on May 2nd, Human Z comes to VOD. In a quiet house in the suburbs, a lonely woman's past comes back to haunt her when an old friend shows up at her door. The next day, on May 3rd, I saw the TV Glow releases in select theaters. This A24 film is about a mysterious late night TV show, a vision of a supernatural world beneath our own that causes a group of teens' realities to crack in the pale purple glow of the television. On that same day, Taro comes to theaters. Taro is your classic supernatural curse film that follows a group of college friends who get their horoscopes read via tarot cards and then begin dying off in ways that are connected to their readings. Also on May 3rd, New Life releases on VOD. A mysterious woman on the run and the resourceful fixer assigned to bring her in. Their two unique stories link as the stakes of the pursuit rise to apocalyptic proportions. A day after, on May 4th, Carnage for Christmas comes to VOD. When a woman visits her hometown at Christmas for the first time since running away, the vengeful ghost of a historical murderer and urban legend arises to kill again. Four days later, on May 7th, Teddy Scare can be rented digitally. Teddy Scare has a premise you probably could have guessed from the title, as it follows a killer mutated teddy bear going on a rampage. Also on May 7th, Amityville Bigfoot comes to VOD. According to Wikipedia, this is the 70th horror movie to use the word Amityville in its title, and it follows birdwatchers, activists, scientists, and a film crew who unknowingly converge in Bigfoot's neck of the woods where something even more sinister lurks. Completing my trifecta, a third movie with a ridiculous title comes out on May 7th, and that is Pandasaurus. Its synopsis is, an egg discovered on an island hatches and becomes a new breed of cuddly and deadly. Ten days later, on May 17th, The Strangers Part 1 comes to theaters. This is the first film in a new Strangers prequel trilogy, and it once again follows a couple who gets terrorized by the infamous masked strangers in an isolated rental property in the Oregon woods. Also on May 17th, Night Watch can be streamed on Shudder. This follows a girl who works a Night Watch job to find out what happened to her parents almost 30 years ago. The week after, on May 31st, Stop Motion also comes to Shudder. This film is about a stop motion artist who becomes consumed by her creations, leading to deadly consequences. And last, also on May 31st, In a Violent Nature comes to select theaters. This slasher film takes audiences into the perspective of a mute killer as he comes after a handful of teens in the Ontario wilderness. Of all the movies I just listed, my pick for my most anticipated horror movie for the month of May is... In a Violent Nature. May is an absolutely stacked month for theatrical horror releases. Terror looks like a very fun teen horror film, a complete jump scare fest, featuring some cool creature designs. The new Strangers film also appears to be loaded with suspense and scares. And I Saw the TV Glow has a unique unsettling premise and has been getting great early reviews. But my pick, without a doubt, had to be In a Violent Nature. I cannot tell you just how excited I am to watch this. I am so excited, I feel like I might throw up. Slashers are easily my favorite horror subgenre. In a Violent Nature has been receiving a lot of buzz from film festivals. It is supposed to have some awesome kills. Having a slasher take place almost entirely through the killer's POV is a great gimmick. Plus, when you add in the fact that In a Violent Nature is a Canadian film, and I am a Canadian person, I truly just could not be more hyped to finally get my hands on this movie and check out what In a Violent Nature has to offer. Alright, and those are all the new horror movies coming out this May. In the comments below, please tell me what your most anticipated horror movie for the month is. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, Horror Flicks with Nick. Once a week, I post early horror reviews, horror lists, commentaries, deep dives, and two-minute recommendations for underrated horror movies you can stream on Netflix, Prime, and Shudder. Thank you all for watching this video. I'll talk to you all again in June.